Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, back in my room here, I'm still talking to you all about fishing gear and I'm not actually out fishing yet, but that will be coming. Uh, I wanted to touch on some things before I really got out there of uh, just some stuff I've accumulated over the course of the winter. Some of this stuff was gifts, some of these things I bought. I'm at a point now where I'm not really buying fishing gear just because I have what I need and I, have, and I know what I want. I know what I want to use. Um, you know, when I first started it was like, okay, buy all this sort of different stuff, but now I'm just kind of, I'm good, I'm good right now. So um, there's a couple things I bought though, including a nice new reel, some tackle, and at the end I want to touch on my uh, new GoPro setup for the this summer. So this here I picked up recently, um, our local tackle shop, Peter's Tackle, actually had a nice sale on. They do kind of like an open house uh, at the start of every spring, uh, like mid-April, and I was able to pick this up for a pretty okay deal. Uh, this here is the Shimano Sienna 2500 HG. This thing is a beautiful reel. Super smooth, great looking, quiet. Uh, I have no complaints so far. We'll see when I actually get to use it. But this is going to be replacing what I have on my medium light lightning rod right now. I have 8 pound fluoro clear I got spooled up on here. And this should be pretty good for uh, you know any of my finesse bass fishing I'm going to be doing. The medium light rod is basically my go-to every time. I, if I'm ever just going for anything, uh, I'll bring that with me always. It's always coming out with me. Um, so this will be getting a lot of miles. The other reel I had on there was pretty cheap. I bought it for like 25 bucks, you know, maybe two years ago now. And uh, it did the job, but I mean, <laughs> I've even stepped on it at one point. And uh, so I might have to retire it. Maybe I'll hold on to it, swap it around in a different setup. We'll see. Um, but this is going to be nice for this coming summer. Let me know if you have this one, how you, what you think of it, and uh, we'll see. Now getting into my tackle, uh, I bought a few things, like I said, not a lot, but I just wanted to touch on some interesting stuff I got. So I have here the uh, Berkley Flicker Shad 7, uh, this is a hard bait, kind of jerk bait style thing. I don't use hard baits all that often, where I fish, it's kind of difficult to get the trebles out. Um, but this is a pretty nice one, this was a gift to me, uh, that, 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 uh, that perch colorway there. Uh, so it's a slow rise, 11 to 13 feet depth. Um, yeah, three inches, seven centimeters. This is a nice little, nice little uh, hard bait. Should be fun to use. I'm excited to throw this. It was also given this uh, booyah uh, spinner bait here. I love these things, especially the booyah ones. I seem to uh, have the most luck with. Obviously, that's just a, that's just the brand. But um, this is pretty nice. Nice, awesome colorway. That white with that chartreuse on the top. Very classic, cannot go wrong with that. I will be throwing this at some point this year. Uh, I've had some luck on the spinner bait. Very fun. I'll have to pick up some trailers probably to throw on that hook. Getting into the soft plastics that I picked up. This here is the Z-Man Tiny Tickler Z. Um, should be fun to use. As you see in my videos, I love the Tickler Z in that full size. Uh, it's one of my favorite baits. Pull one of these out here. Uh, so if I just pull one out, I mean, it's that same thing, that Z-Man Elastec kind of thing. Uh, this color is not ideal for me, as in I just never really throw it. Uh, so it's the green pumpkin with orange on the, I guess that would be on the bottom. Um, I'll see how this bait works. I know Z-Man, they have the, the micro finesse uh, chatter baits, which suck. I hate those things. But this should be pretty simple. A nice little plastic to throw in the back of a, of a small jig. And uh, hopefully I can pick up some crappy or something with this. It's kind of hoping for like a, if they had like a, just a straight green pumpkin or a straight black or, you know, June bug, something like that. But uh, this color should work out okay. So I'll be throwing this very soon. So keeping up with my, uh, you know, small bait theme here. These are the uh, Bobby Garland Live Roamers, 1.75 inch. Um, this is going to be my uh, Galt Minnow replacement, I think. It looks pretty good. I like that color, that white. It's a bleeding shad color. I'm gonna pop into these for you. Yeah, so pretty standard plastic, nothing crazy there. Um, but it looks nice. I'll throw it. I picked these up, you know, our Bass Pro, our local Bass Pro has like a one kind of end aisle and it just has like a bunch of sale stuff, I guess, like clearance or something. I can't even, I've never actually seen Bobby Garland stuff in that Bass Pro. Um, so it's a little weird, but they were like $3 for the packs. I picked them up. We'll see. I'm tired of using galt minnows. They stink. They make a mess. And uh, hopefully this works just as good. We shall see. 
These here are the Crush City Ned BLT. Uh, just a very standard looking Ned bait, green pumpkin color. I don't really know what else much to say about these. I'm a bit of a sucker for Ned baits. Um, anytime I can get any soft plastic that works on a Ned, I will go and get it, even though they're really all basically the same. This one's no different. I mean, you get like some ribs on there, you know, maybe it's a little bit different shape, but uh, it's Rapala. It looks like a pretty high quality bait. I will be throwing this on the Ned, and it, I think it'll work out fine. It's a, it's a standard Ned bait. You know, pretty good plastic. Almost a last tech feeling, but not quite. So I'm in the midst of kind of uh, upgrading my setup here. I've managed to get a media mod for my GoPro Hero 8, which has the uh, larger shotgun mic there. And I'm kind of going to an external battery here that I'm going to keep on me, so I don't have to swap up my batteries a lot. I, I think a problem with my videos are that my audio is never, like, it's it's... It's good sometimes, but I need better audio. So what I'm hoping is maybe this microphone on the media mod will work better. If not, I'm gonna have to use an external mic. So if you make videos, please let me know what your GoPro setup looks like. I'm kind of working on things and trying to get one that works best for me. I think I need to make a step up from just this plain GoPro and uh, hopefully this will work better. So yeah, I didn't pick up too much in the off season this year. Um, I just, like I said, I, I've got everything I need for fishing. And uh, I know I, I, I don't really want to just go out there and spend, spend, spend on tackle that I'm not going to use. It's going to sit in my box, sit in my bag. Um, so we'll see. It should be a fun season. Uh, I'll be getting out there soon. Thank you all for watching.